In this video, we're going to look at the network days function. Now, the network days function allows you to calculate the number of working days between a start date and an end date, and it excludes weekends, which is why it gives you just the work days. So Saturday and Sunday will be excluded. In addition to this, you can also add in holidays. You can specify what those are. Um, so that can also be excluded from the figure you get at the end. So we've just got a very simple example here. Um, we've got a start date of 20th of December, an end date of 31st of December, and then we've got two holidays specified here. And what we want to do is, first of all, we're just going to find out how many working days are between these two dates. So if we type in equals network days, and then the start date, so we're going to select this date here, and the end date, we're going to select this date here. And we're going to leave holidays off on this example. Hit enter, and we get 10. Now, there's actually 12 days if we include these two dates here. But what this formula has done, network days, um, it's excluded the 25th and the 26th because that's Saturday and Sunday. So it's taken out the weekend. Um, so that's why this formula you know, is useful for calculating just working days. Now, we can make this a bit more advanced by adding in these holidays. Um, let's say we've got these two days off as holiday. So what we're going to do is just come into the formula again. Uh, do a comma, and then for holidays, we're just going to highlight these cells here, specify those, hit enter, and we get eight. So now we've got a total working days of eight because we're minusing two for the first weekend, and then we're also taking off these two dates, which are holidays. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.